Hi everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video I'm going to be doing a well requested tutorial from you all and that is how to make it look like the tabs are flipping whenever you are creating a digital planner or digital notebook. If you end up liking this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know how you like the tutorial. I don't really have anything much to say so let's go ahead and head over to my iPad and get started. As usual, I always have everything that I use linked down below. This is the iPad Pro 2020 in the 12.9 inch size. And then I have the second gen Apple Pencil and I have my grip linked down below as well. I always get questions on these things and I wanted to make sure that you all knew that they were in the description. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how to make it look like your tabs are flipping in digital planners and digital notebooks. I won't go through the entire process of creating a digital planner or a digital notebook. So I'll be sure to link both of my how to make a digital planner tutorials. I have an updated one as well as my OG original tutorials. So I'll be sure to have those linked for you if you're interested in the whole process of creating a digital planner. I also have my how to make digital products courses coming soon and you can sign up for alerts on that on my website. Again, I can have that linked for you down below if you're interested in taking a full-on course with me in the future on how to create digital products. But in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to make it look like the tabs are flipping. So I'm actually going to use the app Keynote today and I'm actually going to show you how to flip tabs in a planner that I'm already working on. So this is the planner that I had already started working on and making sure that I'm clicked off everything. If we go into the paintbrush icon, you can see what master slides I'm using. So I'm going to click edit master slide and I have two master slides created. This one I'm not using, but I have these two that I created. And as you can tell, these tabs are not flipped. So master slides are great for creating kind of like the base of your planner, but they're not great for flipping tabs. If you're interested in how to create master slides, what master slides even are, and all the ins and outs of master slides, I already have a tutorial on that and I'll be sure to link it below. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to flip the tabs, but also use master slides, but not at once, if that makes sense. So just to show you, so I have kind of the base of my planner here and once we scroll down to where the months are so january starts on the 48th slide and then it goes down to 59 where we have december so what i want to do is i want to make it to where once they click on the january tab and are on the january month the january tab flips over to the left hand side when it was originally on the right kind of like a traditional open book planner like this one the thing is though is that if you look at my paintbrush icon here you can see what master size i'm using the master slide i'm using has tabs already created and if i go to try and flip the tab over here I either one have to edit the master slide and it would apply to all my slides, which I don't want to happen. I only want it to happen on slides where it shows the monthly page, or I can just kind of add a tab over here to make it look like it's flipped on the other side, but I'll still have this January tab because this is on the master slide. So what I'm going to do instead actually is I'm going to create no master slide for my monthly tab or monthly slides. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to this master slide, which is just the slide above it. I'm gonna go into my paintbrush, go into my edit master slide button here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off of the slide, hit select all, copy, select done. Then I'm gonna to go to number 48. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go into edit master slide. I'm going to select a blank slide and delete these because I don't want that there. And let's just change the name of this to blank. Done. Then we're going to hit done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to my blank master slide. So it's going to get rid of everything that you see here. I'm going to go up here, select my blank, and it left the grid and the January because I put those on top of the master slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select paste. I'm going to go into my paintbrush and push this back. 
so I have my grid and my month poking through. So now I basically got rid of the master slide here and I copied and pasted what was the base of my planner for this slide. So now I can actually move the tabs over and it won't affect any of the tabs on the other slides. And I'm going to repeat this process for all the months. So for January, once you click on January, you're only gonna have one tab over here on the left-hand side. So we're gonna go ahead and edit that. So it looks like the January page is number 48. I'm going to remove that temporarily. Whoops. And let's move my January text. And let's move my January text over here. Then I'm going to select my tab and let's bring it to the front. So I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to move it over. And let's see what that looks like if I move it back. So here I'm just adjusting to make sure I can see a good amount of my tab. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I have my January text here. I don't know if you can see it because it is white, but what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it black temporarily so you can see that. And then I'm just going to rotate it so it will face this way instead of this way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it down with one finger and then use your other finger to rotate it. So 90 degrees the other way. Let's change this guy back to white and move it over here. So one thing with Kino is that there are often grid line helpers to kind of help you position it, but sometimes those don't work out so great, so I'm just gonna turn those off temporarily. So I hit the three dots up here, went down to guide, and I deselected all of those. And then I can move it exactly where I want within the tab. And there we go. So now I'm gonna turn my guides back on just in case I need them. Perfect. So now we have January done. So essentially whenever someone clicks the January tab, it will flip over to this side on the monthly page. So we are going to put our link back in for this guy. I'll select that, hit link, link to slide, and scroll down to 48. One thing I do want to mention is that Keynote is available on the computer. If you don't have an iOS computer like a MacBook or an iMac, you can use Keynote on the web by going to iCloud.com, creating an account. You don't need to have any Apple products to have an iCloud account. And then you can use Keynote over the internet. So if you prefer to use Keynote on the computer, that's great. I really like using it on my iPad, but I did want to bring that up in case you wanted to do this on the computer. All right, so now we have our January tab done. And one thing that I'm going to do for this page is I'm actually going to click off, hit select all, copy. We're going to go to our February slide. We're going to click the paintbrush, and then we're going to click this master selection here so we can select the master slide we want to use. I want the blank one. We're going to hit paste move this back now we have january and february on top of each other so i'm just going to select these and delete and we're going to move february behind january and delete january so now we have february i did that because i didn't want to repeat the same process with this january tab and the reason why I'm going about it the way that I am is because I already have this base file in place. So this is a great way of creating flipping tabs if you already have kind of a planner in place that you've already made and want to edit your tabs to make it look like they're flipping. So we're just gonna repeat the same process. Once they click on February, the February tab will be over here. So we are going to move this February. February is 49. We don't have to remove the link if we don't want to. I sometimes find that the link icons are kind of distracting. I'm gonna move that forward so I can see what I'm doing. Move it over here next to January. And then I'm gonna move it back. I'm gonna move it back far enough where it's behind the paper, but also slightly in front of the January tab. 
just so it's a little more realistic. I'm going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Then we're going to rotate our February and we can do that by holding down with one finger and swiping up with our middle finger. That's the easiest way I've found to do that. And then we're going to place it over here on our tab. Again, we can turn our guides off if we need to kind of adjust it ourselves. Select off. Turn those guides back on. And there we go. Now we have February done. And so we're going to repeat this whole process in all these months yet again. So I'm going to click off, hit select all, copy, go to my March page. And what I'm going to do is going to my paintbrush, go into this master slide selection here and go into that blank page that I created. I'm going to tap, hit paste, move all of this back. Delete those. We're going to move our February in front so we can delete February. So now we have March, January, February, March. So now we're going to move the March tab over the same way. We'll move our March text. Use our paintbrush and move it to the front just so it's easier to move over and move this guy over there, paintbrush, and then move behind the pages, but in front of the February tab. And this is because whenever you're flipping from the right to the left, you're flipping over that March tab, so it's gonna be on top of that February tab. Then we're gonna go in and rotate our March. So I'm gonna hold it down with one finger, Use my other finger to kind of swipe up alongside it. Perfect. One thing that I have noticed with Keynote is that if you are using a certain shadow and you kind of have a shadow that's appearing on the right hand side. So see we have kind of this Gaussian blur kind of come out from the tab here. That sometimes isn't reciprocated on the left hand side. So depending on what shadow you use, it might not apply if you rotate the shape on this side. So what we can actually do is we can come in here and experiment with some of the shadows to see if we get a shadow that we like better that is more realistic on this side. So just to kind of show you what I mean, we can go over here into our paintbrush and hit style. As you can see for this selection, there's a blur on the right hand side of the shape, but it won't appear if it's on the left hand side. So it's only appearing on the right hand side, which we can't see because it's behind the paper. So we can select another shape that we think will have a better shadow. If you don't want to use this and you want to have a shadow kind of on that left hand side tab. So we can select like this and see if we get a better shadow, or we can select this if we like that. Just kind of play around here and see what shadows that you end up liking better. And if you do end up finding that you like a shadow, be sure to go back and apply it to those same tabs. Okay, so now that we're done with March, we're going to repeat on the same side with April. So I am going to click off, hit select all, copy go to my April, select my paintbrush, go into my master side selection, hit the blank, going to hit paste, and going to arrange it all the way back. And I'm going to delete these extra designs. Oh, it deleted April. Let's move April back and delete March instead. January, February, March, April, yes. Okay, so now we're gonna move the April tab over. Same process, move the text, click on my tab, move that guy forward, move him over here. If I want, I can change the shadow. Gonna move him over next to March. And then arrange back behind the page, but on top of March. Perfect. So then I'm going to select my April text, 
hold down and then rotate with my other finger zoom out and put them back on the tab perfect spot guys awesome so now we have our april tab done i'm just going to come in here and make sure that my links are working correctly we have 48 49 50 51 yes 51 is our april page awesome so now i'm just going to repeat this whole process with the rest of these months Okay, and there we have it. We just finished December and all of the other months. So if I flip through, so this is our January tab. So let's say we're on a random page in our planner. They select the January tab. They're gonna see this and it's gonna flip over to the January side. And then they select February and it flips over and then March and then on down the rest of the months. And you can flip through your slides to make sure that everything is flipping correctly. So if we flip through, we can see our tabs flipping from the right side to the left side. Making sure our months match up, so we have the September tab on the left hand side with the September month, and so on. November and December. Okay, so of course this planner is nowhere close to being finished. This is one that I've been working on for a while, but I do want to export it and then import it into an app like GoodNotes or something. So you kind of see what I mean by how the tabs are working within this planner. So I'm gonna come up here and select export, PDF, export. Then I'm going to select the GoodNotes app, import as a new document. And now we have our planner imported into GoodNotes. I will say that this planner might be a little slow just because I haven't gone through the post export process of reducing the file size. So this is our planner. I'm going to make sure that my no pen tool is selected and then we're going to click January. And then as you can see, we are on the January monthly tab, but we have our tab now on the left hand side. So we know that we are on the January monthly. So we can click February. February goes to that side, select March, March goes to that side, April. So this is what makes our tabs look like they're flipping. And that's because we actually made sure that what tabs needed to be on the right hand side or on the right hand side and what tabs needed to look like they were flipped on the left hand side, we put them on the left hand side. So this is why you can't really use master slides when it comes to making it look like your tabs are flipping. Of course, you can create a master slide where you have no tabs, and then you can add the tabs on top of your planner. But again, that kind of defeats the purpose of master slides, which is to cut down on linking. But you do have to manually link all of your flipping tabs within a keynote file. So if I go through the rest, we can see that it looks like they're flipping over once we select that month. And then of course for December, we should have all our tabs on the left hand side and no tabs on our right hand side. This is just a really simple tutorial. It's just a matter of making sure that what tab needs to be on what side is on that correct side and you can repeat the same process on blank pages. So let's say that you wanted to go to January and you wanted it to look like all the weeks had this January tab so that they knew they were on the January weekly. Again, you'll want to make sure that you have repeated the same process on other slides that you want it to look like the tabs are flipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It truly means the world to me and I love engaging with you all in the comments down below and seeing what you create after watching my tutorials. And as always, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer any in the comments down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.